Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be pulling strainers on some condenser water pumps. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech and for this setup we have four pumps. One, two, three, and four. And let's see how this works. So we have a main pipe coming in here and then they take off. So it's two pumps per line. As you can see, these two T in here make its way across this way. And then we have these two pumps that come in and T off here and make its way this way. So we have two pipes coming out. So in this setup, they have one pump running each time. So right now, take a look at the starters here pump six you can see is on hand to the left position and we have a red light that means that it's on next right here p5 it's in the off position p8 in the off position and p7 is on hand so right now it's the same configuration this starter is for this pump and it's running this one's off this one's off and this one is for this right here, and it's running. So, I'm gonna start with this line, and I'm gonna start with the pump that is not operating, and that's gonna be this guy right here. You always wanna keep one pump at least running, as you can see right here. It's even labeled that this is for the building's heat pumps. So if you kill that condenser water, you already know what's gonna happen. The system's gonna trip on high head pressure, Say goodbye to your heat pump. <laughs> All right, so right here I can see we got two valves, one here and one here. These are gate valves. So I'm gonna start by isolating the line. So let's close these pumps. You can see that the stem is up. That means the valve is open. So now as I spin this way, stem is coming down and his valve is being closed every now and then you want to grease these up too because it gets really hard to close at times so now this one is closed do the same thing to the next valve So this is already closed actually. I guess they don't want water back feeding into here while this is off. So that's why that happened. So now that's done. Next we can drain the water that's remaining in the line. And over here, we have a ball valve. So let's uh, open this up and uh, see what kind of pressure we got. Alright, that to me looks like the valves are holding. So let's drain the remaining water in the line. Alright, so the water is just about drained. I'm gonna use this wrench to take off these bolts. This thing is awesome. There's actually four sizes in one. And to do this whole job, even though there's different sizes, with one tool it's all you need for this Here's the strainer. 
I'll take this to the other room. Give it a quick little pressure wash. So we're just gonna pressure wash this. You could use a wire brush as you hit it with the water, but it's no big deal. The water should be just fine. gasket ain't looking too good but it's just the outside that is like pretty much crushed up just from tightening this down all the years but it's fine it's, it's really this inside is what you want to be good that's yeah, so will be all right for now so let's just get this out the way we're gonna put the strainer back inside push this back in There. And we want this handle to be facing upwards, so we're going to be placing this like that. Actually, they have these on the side, bottom. Honestly, it doesn't matter. But this little piece here was over here. They put a different bolt inside. So let's just do it the way they all have it to the side. So, you know what? Let's take a bolt through. Sometimes it's hard to get past against the rubbers. So I'm just gonna get that started. Get a few threads on it. All right. And I do each one, one by one. But I have, I'll leave a gap between here and here so I can physically see the bolt going through so I can catch the threads. Once I have everything in, then I evenly tighten down on the bolts. Like this is so much easier to get the bolt inside, especially if you can see what you're doing. Tighten this guy down. Okay, so everything is snug. Just gonna get everything its final tightened down. And I go across with each bolt. Tighten down, we can close this drain valve because we don't want this draining. You can open the water, boom, we're gonna flood this place. So that's closed, this is tightened down. And uh, we can open up this valve and check for any leaks. So far it's looking good. All right, stem is up, we're open. All right, inspect for leaks. And that's it, that's pretty much it. That's how you pull the strainer. So now what you want to do is to flip over to the next line what i would have to do is because you don't want to shut this water down at any moment so make sure all these valves are open like this one's going to have to open because it's closed uh we're going to open up this valve 
And over here, this one has the check valve, so water's not gonna back feed, so that's cool. Yeah, okay, so what we're gonna do is while this one's running, we're gonna turn this one on so we don't lose that pressure. And then we can shut that one off and then work on that one. And that's pretty much the setup that I'll have to do here and repeat the same. I gotta pull all four strainers for the four pumps. And uh, that's the task at hand for right now. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.